If you came across this video, you may be thinking about renting out your home, already have a few rental properties and thinking of adding your home to that portfolio, or just want to start earning passive income from owning a rental property. Well, in this video, you are in for a treat because I will show you how I spend one full year renovating my personal home, spending way too much money on updates, and my tips for renting your home. Welcome to my channel where we together learn to invest, manage, and profit from real estate investing. Smash that like button and if real estate investing interests you, consider subscribing to my channel. At the end of this video, I'll share my full year's experience and how much it actually rents for. And a little spoiler, it wasn't as much as I thought it would rent. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's uh, take a look at the half completed project here today. And uh, it's gonna be a long one and a little rainy out there, but let's get into it. A little backstory on this house, I purchased it with the intentions of renovating it and living in it as my primary home. I like this property because one, I got a great price on it, two, it's a perfect location for me and close to my office, three, it is zoned an R2 lot which means it's zoned for two units aka a duplex. So if I wanted to add onto this property later on, I could do that. And four, with some updating and renovations, it could have been a really cozy home and I almost forgot it's right next to an ice cream shop. Oh yeah. So I ended up purchasing this property and instantly began renovating it. I think it was a rental property before I bought it because it had a ton of rental property features such as numerous cable cords on the exterior and a double and almost triple cock in the master bathroom. It felt like a rundown rental property and I wanted it to be a suitable uh, living uh, home for myself for about one to two years. Once I closed on the property, I walked it with the contractor and pointed out everything I wanted to start renovating. I want that, that, this change, that change, pull that out and add this. Let's check out how it went. down tomorrow. Hopefully the hurricane doesn't knock us out.
see the renovation alone took a long time to complete and just when I was getting settled in, I decided to move to a better house in a better location. With buying the home for such a great price, I could have flipped it and got an excellent return, but I am a firm believer in the buy and hold strategy. I don't think I'll ever sell a rental property unless the price is right. Bing! Now, how to renovate your home to become a rental property? One thing that I learned during this entire year is to not overspend on renovations and updates. If you are going to rent out your home, don't overspend. I spent way too much money and time renovating this house and I now see that the rental market is not accepting a rental rate that reflects how much I dumped into this property. As a rule of thumb, there is a point of diminishing returns regarding rental property renovations and updates. I own a rental property management company and thankfully we work with a lot of real estate investors that keep it simple. My motto is just keep it simple, especially when it comes to your rental property. So how much did I spend and was it worth it? A rough estimate on how much I spent on this property. Contractor labor cost, $40,000. Hardwood flooring planks, $5,000. The kitchen and bathroom tiles, $2,500. Other tile work in the kitchen and bathroom, $3,500. This driveway repair, $2,700. The fence, 10,000, new sod, 2,500, appliances all together that took eight months to get, $10,000. Beams and the floating shelves here, $950. The front door, $3,700. And all the miscellaneous rent ready repairs, $3,700. A total of $85,000. Now was it worth it? Absolutely not. Did the updates and the luxury items increase the rental rate and transform the home? Yes, but with that amount of money, I could have bought another rental property. Although with real estate and owning a rental property, I definitely did increase the value of the property and the home should make for a great rental property for many years to come with minimal maintenance. Now spending $85,000 did increase the amount of rent on a monthly basis. My tips for turning your home into a rental property, of course, course, do not overspend on rental uh, property updates and renovations. List your home online platforms like Zillow, Realtor.com, Hotpads, Truly, Apartments.com. Have a thorough tenant screening process. Check out my video with the link above and in the description below on how to screen and place quality tenants in your home. Get familiar with the landlord-friendly property management software such as TurboTenant, Yardy Breeze, Avail, Tenant Cloud. Perform inspection reports using inspection platforms such as Happy Inspector, Rent Check. This is important in documenting the condition of your rental property for security deposit purposes. And don't get attached to your rental home and do not overprice your rental listing right out the gate. Overpriced rental listings often lead to high vacancy rates and attract unqualified qualified applicants. And furthermore, hire a professional property management company if you're uh, doing this for the first time and renting out your primary home. Those are just a few tips for owning and operating a successful rental property. Now let's get into the numbers for what my home ended up renting for and how much all those uh, rental upgrades added to the rental rate. Now before all those updates and renovation items, I could have instantly rented this property for around $1,650 to $1,750 a month. After doing all those updates and renovations over the course of a full year, I ended up renting the home for $24.50 a month. And I made a common mistake and an emotional attachment. I initially listed the home for $3,200 a month, trying to justify the amount of money I had spent on the updates. But after a few days on market, realizing the traffic was not there and a lot of comments from prospective tenants were noting it is too small to be asking $3,200 a month, so I quickly reduced the price. After I spent around $85,000 on rental property updates and only increased the rental rate by about $800, uh, so the takeaway from this video is not to overspend on rental property updates and renovations unless the updates increase the value and increase the rental rate um, after those updates are completed. I spent a lot of time on this video and hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, hit that like button. I'd love to hear about your rental property experience or if you've turned your home into a rental property, uh, comment below. Uh, as always, take it easy out there. Cheers.